Let's check in with Heidi Watney, who's had a chance to ask both ball clubs about making it to the league championship series. Heidi? Well, to get here, Matt, this club had to survive a tough trial in a division series that went all the way to a decisive game five. But they feel that they're even stronger now for having come through that fire. One player told me there's nothing like being tested with your season on the brink to really find out what you're made of. We were up against it and we responded. We are men on a mission. Digging in, Yuli Guriel. He's one for one Houston. thus far. The first baseman, number 10. Yulieski Guriel. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll lay off a first pitch sinker, missing down and in for a ball. 1 0. Oh. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. 1 and 1 the count now. The 1-1. One, one. Liner towards second. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Back to the top of the order now. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. First pitch on its way. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Two a note of Brantley. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Got him fishing for that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of his sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Backhanded. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now batting. Shortstop. And with two Arlo. away, let's check out our playoff bracket Arlo. as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet here for the league championship. Here's Carlos Correa now. A hit and two tries for him so far. First offering on its way. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Hard liner to center field. Hamilton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Astros go down one, two, three as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Next to bat for Toronto, Brandon Leading Murray off. comes into this at bat 0 for the 1 third in the baseman. ball game. Brandon Murray. pitch of the at bat on its way and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one the 0 1 on its way a bouncer up the middle and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball pitcher. Now, now that is a good start. Start. single up the Ready. Yeah, watch your lips right Go there. Bit. And sent it back right where it came from. At the plate, Freddie Gallus 
his career line against Garrett Cole, batting a robust 350. He's taken him deep once. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there, strike one. And there's ball one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Three and one. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked the soul. But we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome the when you give up a man. single right before yeah, that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure yeah, out bro. a way to wiggle out of this. Stepping into the box, Devin Travis, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the stretch. Grounded foul. Drury on second. Galvis at first with no outs. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Devin Travis. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. One down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now batting. Number nine. So first and second with one man gone. And that'll bring in Danny Jansen. From the stretch. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. One run on three hits. And no errors in the game for Toronto. A ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, you better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Runners are at first and second with one away. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. The center fielder, number six, Billy Hamilton. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's a 320 hitter. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. And he fouls this one off. One and one. Here it is. Fouled off. 
one run on three hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. Nine toward the gap in left center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. The throw home. The tag's there from Torinos. He is out at the plane. Blue Jays leave a pair. They still trail it here, two to one. Leading off for Houston, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. The pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 0. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at 1. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. On the ground to third. Brewery gloves it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Digging in, Alex Bregman. A fly out and a single for him so far. First pitch on its way. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1-1. One and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. Push softly over toward the right side. But this will be taken easily at first, and there are two gone. The batter, number four, designated hitter, George Springer. Coming to the plate now, George Springer. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Richard giving chase. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. One, two, three go the Astros. They still lead it two to one. Here's Randall Gritchick. He started out the off evening for the two game. so far. The right fielder. Randall Gritchick. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here's a slider up and in for ball one. One and all. Oh. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. A full count, three and two to Randall Gritchick. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. Now the three and two pitch. 
And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Well, there's only a one-run cushion now to play with, so Left he's got to be upset after Day he off, walked sure. the leadoff man here. First Go ahead, run day. comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He's one for two in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. And he pops it up. Redman over to his left. One out. Now batting. The first baseman. Justin. Smoke. Here's Justin Smoke now. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped up. Takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Rowdy now Tevez back. the next to bat. He gets with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. This is a perfect example of why the slider is Third such a great number pitch three. and such a dangerous Brandon. pitch, too. Sometimes it Rory. moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Stepping in, Brandon Drury. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First pitch on its way. Lays off 1-0. and oh. Well, the Blue Jays have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. They're hoping they get it right now. This would sure be a good time. The set and the 1-0. Oh. Front door with the slider eclips the zone for a called strike. Called strike and he's behind 1-2. and two. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Stepping in is Josh he Reddick. He laid down a sacrifice right bunt in his last trip. Josh. Reddick, Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Not the best of sinkers that time. Ball high. Hit on the ground out to short. Galvis has it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The catcher, number 28, Robinson. Chirino. Into the box now. Robinson Chirinos. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitchers duel two to one our score. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. The one one is taken for ball two. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. 
trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now three and two walks are never good but they're especially bad news late in games like this it seems like they always come back to bite you and a swing and a miss here so it's a quick two outs to start the seven really good late fight on that slider right there the, bad. the best ones have the that late move. action that just dies at the last minute Maroon. they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch Here's Jake Marisnik. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Yuli Guriel would be next. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now bad to give up a two out baseman. walk to anybody, Yuli but especially to a speed Guriel. demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Now batting, Yuli Gurriel. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And a dive, but he's back. The 1-0. And this will be fouled away. Marisnik, the runner at first with two gone. He's going, Off he's going, is Marisnik. He's going. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble. Three and one. Michael Brantley would be next. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Richard is in pursuit. He tracks it down, and that will Ladies end the gentlemen, inning. Please Astros join leave one. Stepping into the box, Leading off Freddie for Galvis. The He'll be the man to the lead things stop. off here in the bottom Freddie. of the seven. This thing's Galvis. over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First offering on its way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Just missing here, 2-0. Oh. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here.
Now the 3 0 offering. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. Now You're battle. hanging on to a the second lead. Man. And the last yeah, thing man. you want to do is give up a leadoff yeah, walk. Man. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. Here comes the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your Stavinsky attention, comes on now, and he'll now take over with nobody Houston. out in inning number, number seven. Number 47, Chris Stavinsky. Devin Travis will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. First pitch coming. Here it is. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Top, it's two and zero. Oh. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Danny Jansen will be next. Nobody out, runner on first. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Strike taken up in the zone. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Reddick moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batter, number nine. Ready for another chance? Danny Jansen hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And not what they were hoping for as that moves the possible tying run into scoring position. Well, when a reliever comes in a game, he always wants to make a big impression. But I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there. So we'll see if he can settle in. Runner at second here with one man out. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Here's the one and two. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Catch made there by Altuve and there are two gone now. The center fielder, number six, Billy Hamilton. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Billy Hamilton. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First offering on its way. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1 and 0. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2 and 0. 
Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Two out here and a runner at second. There's a swing and a drive hit well onto right field. Back goes Reddick. He can't get to this one. It's off the wall, and that should tie the game. You know, d -Row, in today's game, it's not easy the right scoring field, number in the late 15. innings. So that RBI base Red up and things up, that comes at a Rick really it. good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the fourth and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. In now, Brendel Gritchick. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-0. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. 1-1. One and one. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Blue Jays forced to settle for just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 2-2. Tim and Mesa has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to now start the eight. The Blue Jays. Number 58, Tim Mesa. Here's Michael Brantley, and this time ball game is a battle of the bullpens the now, and I'm sure the you're enjoying field. that, Dan. Michael the bullpens are such Brantley. a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils. Here comes the first pitch. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise to the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the, the most. Well, stop. this guy is Harlow. a gamer. He's been on fire oh, since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Your and attention, time please. will be called here as now with the important go-ahead run at second base, Number they'll three. opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Standing in now, Carlos Correa, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Jose Altuve waits on deck. Three O oh pitch. Line drive to center field. 
Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. The a lot of offense to go the around, but a very tightly contested ball game. 2-2 oh, two, two our score here in the eighth as it's starting to look more like one run may be enough to win this one. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And it looks as though they're going to set up the double play. There's the free pass signal. So there'll be runners at the corners with one gone. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Your attention, please. Comes on now, and he's now just hoping to keep this thing game. tied. No save Number opportunity 51. here. Ken. Yayo. First pitch of the at bat. A ball and no strikes. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Now a move over to first, and he's back standing. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Runners are at first and third, one away. Two misses for the second ball. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And he popped him up. Coming in is Hernandez. In the score is the runner from third. And with that, they've taken the lead here in game one. And this will get in there too late. He's the in there at third. Designated hitter. Boy, those have to feel Short. really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. He's working on a one for three thus far. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout now there. Batting. Yeah, Matt, that's the, right the advantage fielder. of getting ahead in the count. Shot. You can really force hitters Reddit. to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier.
Stepping in now, Josh Reddick. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hit on the ground out to short. And he'll go to short play to retire the side. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Astros three, the Blue Jays two. Ladies Kyle and Tucker will stay in the ball game please. now and take over in left this field. For the Astros. Now playing left field. Will Number Harris three. is on now the pitch out of the bullpen Houston. in the bottom half of the Number eighth. 36. Will Harris. The inning up for Toronto. And they'll need him to get no something left going here. Day off, sir. Hernandez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. Harris playing here in his age 34 season. He was a ninth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Right side. On to first, and a sigh of relief in that visitor's dugout as that's a big man to retire to start out the Up home next eight. to the Blue Jays, the first baseman, Justin Smoke. So here's the cleanup hitter, Justin Smoke. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 oh misses off the plate. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, number 44. Rowdy Tellers, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. On to the first baseman Guriel and that will end the. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos. Lifetime the numbers against number Ken Giles. He's gone two Robinson for six. Chirino. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. One and one to Chirinos. The one one pitch. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's two and one now. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Count even at two and two.
And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone the down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping game. to have when he was taking batting Marissa. practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Into the box, Jake Marisnik, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Sinker, one ball, one strike. One and two as he chases the slider. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Richick on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting the first baseman, Yulieski Guriel. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set and the pitch. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros first baseman. Now the one and one pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw on to smoke at first and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. They're up three to two. Your Roberto attention, Ozuna please. takes the ball now in now inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 54, Roberto Osuna. Brandon Drury. For Toronto, his career history the with Roberto baseman, Ozuna, he's Brandon. up for four. Drury. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one runs up high. Ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two well count. The pitch is in there for strike one. Osuna is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Swing and a line drive. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. With that, the Jays put their leadoff man on to start the inning. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the game. cat and mouse with the manager. Does he stop. use the bunt right Ready. here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Galvis. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first.
left. He's set. Here it comes. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. And they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. High in the air out to center field. Mariznick is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. The second baseman. Kevin. Robert. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, Devin Travis. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Marisnik. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. Number nine. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. Your Andreas attention, Morales please. will be called upon Pinch here to the hit Blue with Day. the game on the line. Number eight, Henry Morales. Called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Ball game. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Man, the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! No better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. So the Blue Jays strike the first blow in this league championship series. They certainly do, Matt, but this postseason has now moved into a seven-game series territory where the task is closer to a marathon than a sprint. One down, that's good, but still three more to go. Yeah, I would agree with that, Dan. Nice job by them gaining the early upper hand in this series, but this one's just getting started. Now, if they come out tomorrow and stack another win in game two, that would be something to talk about. Let's see how this thing unfolds.